New York state lawmakers are discussing several environmental bills before the legislative session ends in June. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has more on what some of those are and what impacts they could make. One of the biggest pieces of legislation that remains is the Climate Change and Community Investment Act, which could raise about $15 billion in revenues per year. It would expand on the 2019 Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act to reduce greenhouse gases. Though there was a hearing earlier this month on the CCIA, it currently sits in committee. I can only say stay tuned. Uh, I, I know that it's important to, to rid uh, the planet of pollution and there are a variety of ways that we want to do it and, and certainly CCIA is, is something to be considered. The purpose of the bill aims to transition New York to 100% renewable energy, create hundreds of thousands of jobs and protect and support workers and communities most impacted by climate change and pollution. To do that, it would put in place a carbon tax on corporations. Senator Pam Helming opposes the legislation. Her office says it could result in an additional 55 cents per gallon gas tax, as well as increased taxes on heating oil and natural gas. Meanwhile, included in the recently passed state budget was a proposal to put the $3 billion Restore Mother Nature Bond Act up to voters in 2022. During a United University Professions Earth Day Roundtable, Assemblyman Steve Engelbright says he sees that as an educational opportunity. SUNY is going to play an important role in validating, I believe, uh, the uh, importance of asking uh, the voters to invest into uh, the operational uh, side and the capital side of uh, addressing our climate crisis. Some other measures that remain on the table include expanding electric vehicle charging stations, wetlands protection, and land conservation. In Albany, Karina Capabianca.